it's always interesting to figure out where to begin. However, I will begin with the story of four women who led to my journey. Sometimes an idea is of its time and that's partly why there is such huge engagement. What is also fantastic is that I ended up receiving emails from all over the world from people telling me that they'd also thought about this idea, which is fantastic. That is great news when there's something in the global consciousness and it feeds down into other people right around the world. Trees and water are my inspiration. I do a lot of study in trees. One of the things that really inspires me is just <laughs> the different ways they fight through growing. You know, you'll find if, um, if trees are really exposed to wind, they'll find a way of growing to deal with that, that element. And in a way, way that's um, what Cory has been. Stand in front of this valley with these mountains ranging a day and far before you. Mac, what do you see? Playing for time, I say mountains, rivers, trees. I say what you are witnessing is creation. If you were to open your heart big enough to allow this to enter, you would be on your knees weeping. Much of the technology that's being used is effectively an application of biomimicry. It's an application of watching how natural systems work and copying some of those designs for the objectives that we share. Then there will grow up locally sort of barter systems. You'll be able to take in your beans, if you've been growing runner beans, and swap them for loo paper or whatever it is you need more urgently than runner beans. But that's not trivial, setting those systems up, and it, it will be difficult. The key to success is to risk thinking unconventional thoughts. Convention is the enemy of progress as long as you've got slightly more perception than the average rat loaf, you can invent something. Schumacher asked the question, how on earth can I feed the hungry and clothe the naked? There are hundreds and millions of them. But we make the choice not to just drift along following our instinctive promptings, just taking things easy and making ourselves comfortable, 
if necessary, even at the expense of others. As long as we use our talents not to live and work simply for ourselves, but also to serve the rest of creation, that is all that can be expected. <laughs>